one thing I say about you, and I'm not just saying this because you're here. At least you drop motherfucking first when the time is back throughout all the whole ass games, man. I respect that, man. Oh, man. man. I, did, I, did, I did the classic battle on, uh, on Thanksgiving. It was there at 8 White Boy D1 on Cartel. Still ain't been there. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not Cartel. You know what I'm saying? You battled D1? You murdered him. One round for $200. Speck was there with you, Damn. How y'all getting trapped in the battles? You know what, man? Hey, check this out. This is Big Homie MC Run Ski, man. Let's get this out the way right fast. Intro. No <laughs> chill, no filter. <laughs> Already see who this is, man. This my, this my homie, man. OG partner, man. Since I don't know when, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, my man Kamanzi. Hey, check this out, man. Holler at the people for a second. One love, yours truly, King Kamanzi, Lord of Lyrics. Stand on my own two, on my own two. Kamanzi, guys. Yeah, Milwaukee all day. We don't join teams, we make teams. That's what's up. Y'all heard what he just said, right? I would, I would pick it back off that, but we'll be here all day, man, talking about picking sides and all this. Check this out. We are a side, so, you know, we ain't got to pick nothing. So, with that being said, man, this here, my homie, man, very, very, very conscious brother. As a matter of fact, uh, let's talk just a little bit about your travels to Africa, man. What, what was that about? I mean, was that something that you planned, or did somebody, you know, set you up for that? Was it tour type time, or? No, actually, it wasn't even no tour. My father's from Kenya, mm -hmm. and um, every year I try to go back, but because of money, it's hard to go back because they're making like almost 1200 and change to go back. Because I got family, I can't go back to Africa empty handed. So, the last time I was there was 2014. Before that, the last time I was there was 1989. Uh, so, it's been a minute. I went to Africa, saw my people. I recorded um, a 20 song project. I bought some equipment, made sure my people ate. Beautiful experience, man. I got to return home to our foundation. Okay, that's what's up, man. And I see you have put a little little bit of it in your the last battle with King H. Bull. Right. Was that true, man, when you, what you were saying about being in the bush and um, loading up arsenals? I know that was kind of like off the right, battle right, rap right, like right. that, but pretty sure there was some type of truth to it as right. far as... And I'm going to keep it 100. No, I was in Africa with guns, but I was there during election time. And in election time in Africa, it's real, real bloody. Like, they prevent one side to prevent the other side from a, um, voting. A lot of community get ravaged by the violence. So really, we had a demonstration called Hip Hop for Peaceful Election mm -hmm. so that the kids wouldn't have to get killed. You see, because there's guns are flying all over. So I didn't go there trying to save the world with guns because guns is already murdering our people. Right. I went there just to be a little voice of reason. And I hooked up with brothers like Hustler J. Mau Mau, my brothers and sisters in Africa, uh, Rasta Lavoti, my brother Petrus on the chords. A lot of good brothers was there from Kenya who helped me out on my journey to try to resurrect our people. Man, that is what's popping, man. Man, y'all see, not only a battle rapper here, as a matter of fact, he's a rapper who battles. He's not yes, a sir. battler who raps. No, not at so, all. So here's the thing, um, like, with all the conscious stuff that you be coming with, man, I already know that I got some serious questions for you, but one of my main questions is, what are you thinking of, what do you think about the culture of battle rap right now today? People keep screaming it's politics stuff, but you know, we talking battle rap. We're not talking, you know, election time. You know what I right, mean? Right. So I say that the only the only way I would say that is politics in it is if the worst man wins. Right, right. If if you if you cold man and you body a person man three zero and lose a hundred percent politics. That's it. So see when I say it's political, this is my opinion. If you can't battle on one league and you can't go to this league and all that other stuff as this and that, those dynamics have nothing to do with anything. If I feel I'm the best and you feel you're the best and you go for this league and I'm for this league, I'm not even part of any league, why should there be a limitation that says I can't battle you? It's not like these leagues are buying people off with contracts to exclusively say, listen, I'm giving you 20 Gs a year. 30 G's a year, even 10 G's a year, you can't be on no one else's car but mine. I know Smack does that, and I can understand that. Right. And I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying the little political stuff about we don't mess with this league owner because he's doing this, we don't like him. That's all nonsense politics, man. Yeah. Let the culture grow. Let's get this money together. We don't have to like each other. Let's get this money together and stop all the limitations and the barriers over this. Right, right. And you know what? It kind of comes out to... An individual kind of like trying to choke out the culture a little bit here. I think so, it is You know too. what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. If a person say, okay, 
you can only do something here, you can't do nothing there. And then you you supplying quality footage. So you saying, okay, since my footage is the best, you go you gonna work here or you're not gonna work at all. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? So now it's come it becomes a competition not only with the battle rappers, now all of a sudden you got cameramen who, well, they be but I ain't got nothing to do with right, 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 no right. channel on Kevin T V. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? So but in any event, speaking of battling man, we gonna just move on real quick, man. Um you got an upcoming battle with who? Uh, Dave the Example, February 17th on Heat Rock. Um, peace to Dave the Example, you're in serious trouble. Um, <laughs> but we don't promote this thing, and it should be a good event. I know on the card you got Marv One against GE, mm -hmm. you got uh, Chris McCody against uh, Porter. I, I guess you got some other battles too. I don't have the card off in my hand, but you got some good battles. I want everyone to come out. It's T Lou event. Heat Rock, February 17th. Okay. And um, as far as my battle, we go on one round for $500. And I'll speak on that. Prediction, one round body. You understand? One round body. And to David, you're good. You're Michael Red good. I'm Michael Jordan good. It's a little bit different. And I'm not ego tripping. I know you've been doing this for a long time and you got the sarcastic, the jokes, and now you join Body Gang and got that emotional support and the cheerleaders with you. That won't help you. And by the way, that whole Africa Bambada angle you thought you're gonna pull out and make me lose my cool and embarrass me, you can't. Because everybody knows the history, me, me and the Zulu Nation, they know off top that I'm the one who made Bambada step down when all that stuff came into the forefront. Uh, you understand? So all that little, I'm going on internet looking for this and digging up dirt. You make a pretty good FBI agent, my brother. I don't know you like that. And I got love for you, example. There's no hatred towards you, you know, but that Bambada example, it won't work. That angle, I look at you and you're gonna waste your round and I'm coming with straight punchlines, double entendres, and real facts. You're done. I forgot the boy after dead. Mmm. Okay, that last part. So, um, check this out, man. Me, myself, I feel that, you know, you definitely, both of y'all got bars, but you definitely got a good chance of winning, but you got to bring that King Kamanzi, that battle King Ace Bull, not the King Kamanzi that battled the Kid Class. And you know what? I agree with you. Actually, <laughs> what I got, for example, is even going to be more wicked than King Ace Bull. Because either King Ace Bull, I'll say I was on 75%. Against Kid Class, I was down to 50% because I basically freestyled like 75% of my round, yeah. which was enough to beat him, but I'm not doing that. And against D. Warrens, it was probably, again, up to 75%. That was in a cartel card. Who, example, piece to example, you hooked me up with that card on cartel. But um, against you, for this battle, it's anywhere between 80 and 100%. I'm going to let the crowd and the camera judge on how much percentage. I'm not even going to freestyle with you. Maybe a little bit here and there. You're going to get body. You better be serious. You know? I'm going to know camera right here. Camera. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's going to get body seriously. You, you know? get up with it? You said what? I said you going to get up with it? Yeah, I'm not going to play with it. Actually, okay. I had half of my round for him almost back when I was writing for Kid Class. Right, In fact, right. Big Tay heard the round, I have a both of them, and he's like, why are you going so hard against Example? He said, you need to beat Kid Class, but you need to go a little bit harder against Class. Right, you know, right. and maybe I did focus more on him back then, because actually, me and Example were supposed to battle on GE's birthday card, December 30th. Mm -hmm. But because of whatever happened again, politics, which has nothing to do with me, because right. I battle on any card. Go hard, go home, cartel, you got enough money, I'll come in the back of your alley and beat you rapping. I'll beat you with your family reunion, with your family as the judges. I'm not with that, I'm with this card team stuff. Peace to every team, peace to every league, but I, it matters not to me. I'm a body you wherever you at. My man, y'all hear what he's saying, right? Very, very cocky man, but I feel that he does have the right to be that way because he got the bars and the performance to back it up. Um, the example, I'm not taking nothing from you, brother, because you got bars too. I actually like your performance. You one of my faves in Milwaukee, but as a, as a fan, talking to y'all as a fan, it's too much smoke going on, and I ain't talking about smoke either, because ain't none of that. Um, I'm talking about the smoke screen that y'all creating that's really making it hard for the fans to actually get into battle rap, because every time we turn around, it's some more garbage going on. 
I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and as a fan, it's trash. It's garbage. All this old man, this person did that, and that person did this, and this person did that. Y'all really start to sound like a bunch of kindergartners, for real. It's, it's just, it's just to a point where you know what? If don't nobody wanna, if don't nobody wanna stand up and say, hey man, this year is what we need to be doing. Then maybe we should just cut it out all together. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, obviously y'all need some type of direction from somewhere because everybody is going different. Everybody is, everybody is just such in a, 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 it's like a confused state right now. Don't nobody know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I agree. And, that, and that's just how it is right now. And it's just really, really irritating because I like, I like cut and dry. Right. Period. When you say, "Hey man, let's do this, man. I need you to, I need you to shoot this battle." Boom. I want to shoot this battle and be done with it. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I edit it. And you put it out. I don't want to shoot this battle. Hey man, you know the part where that happened. I need you to take that out, or I need you to stop this. You know what? Next time you shoot the battle, For and real? then you can do what you want to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you got people's pimp spotting money. Ain't no money up in battle rap, man. Not from what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? People pimp spotting money. Oh, and another thing, I will have a menu. For anybody that want to book me for battles and there will be deposits and there will be situations where if you don't have all my money done i will do the battles for the sake of the battler not for the sake of the league owner and i'm gonna be dropping it on my channel okay i don't care what you're talking about how mad you get about it man that's how it is from now on if y'all can't pay me i'm holding on to the footage and i'm dropping it it ain't gonna be vaulted, it's gonna be dropped, but it's gonna be dropped on No Chill, No Filter TV right here, okay? So I'm just letting y'all know, fair warning, right now. Okay, back to what we was talking about. Just got a few minutes, man, and then we're gonna wrap this up. What made you jump back into battle rap out of all the stuff that's going on right now? You know what? People always say this, like King Kamazi, like I heard uh, Brother Kirion, he said he didn't know I battle oh, rap. Kirion, like, uh, Kirion that's my little brother. One yes, love, uh, Kirion. Number but respect and love oh, for my brother. See, I've been a battle rap before the era of Smack. I've been doing this uh, before I even saw Murder Move Battle Party RD and the Smack battles in 2004. I used to go to New York City because I'm part of the Universal Zulu Nation. And I used to battle New York cats. I used to have a crew of Bronx cats and go battle other cats from other boroughs. Puerto Rican Day Parade, West Indian Day Parade, a miscellaneous playground. And so I've been doing this for a long time. Then I remember the grind time era and then different type of leagues and different type of eras. So a lot of people think I'm just an old cat trying to come into battle rap. Nah, I've been doing this for a long time. What made me come back in this era, my good friend is named Supernatural. Um, you might know him, the Supernatural MC, he's originally from the Midwest, but if you look him up, he actually holds the freestyle uh, record, I think he went 11 hours non-stop in Guinness World Book of Records. I was in Paris last December at his Zulu Nation anniversary, and he told me, he heard some of my bars, he said, King Kamanzi, why don't you go into the ring in battle rap? I said, nah, all this fabrication of false personals, I don't get this, I might hit somebody. He said, no, 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 you got the words, you got the elegance, the discipline, go and do this. So I thought about it, and when I was in Africa, it's funny because, uh, GE and Shadow the Series were trying to put me on the card. And I said, I'll battle, but I gotta battle for some money. Cause I know I'm 47 like an AK. I'm three years away from 50. So I know y'all ain't finna pay the old man. So you don't have to pay me. The old man bets money. I'll take your money. I lyrically extort my opponents for bread. That's the only way an old man like me can eat. <laughs> so I came back to battle rap. I battled King Ace the Bull for 200. I battled Kid Class for 300. Wasn't my best battle at all. I'll give y'all that. I battled D. Warrants, which was a serious body. I wrapped him up in a Ku Klux Klan robe and sent him to the grave. <laughs> that was for 200. And now me and Example are gonna battle for this 500. Initially, you know, and I respect Example, he came up to me after the King Ace battle, he said, King, I wanna battle you, let's do it. So we didn't know what card we we're gonna do it. We were gonna go to G's card, politics got in the way, so we decided we gonna rock out on February 17th on Heat Rock. Shout out, so, shout out T. Lou. And so what made me, beyond even the money, to come back is because deep in my heart, I feel I could beat anyone if I put my mind into it. And my whole philosophy on it is this, Rom. Somewhere on this earth is somebody who could beat LeBron James who's not in the NBA. Somewhere on this earth is someone who could outmaneuver and box Mayweather. Oh, and they not, they not, they not, never have boxed in their life. They're not professional. They probably don't have a dollar in their pocket. Someone on this earth is someone who can beat your favorite or whatever. I'm telling y'all right now, 
on any given day, I happen to know the one MC who can beat your favorite rapper or battle rapper on any given day. I've known him for about 47 years, okay. and it'll be revealed February 17th who that is. <laughs> My man, dog, you, 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 you're conscious, man, and you, you got bars in your talk. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. Hey, appreciate so it. check this out, man. Just real quick, and I asked everybody about this, man. Did you, did you see the top ten countdown of the haymakers? I, actually, I did. Okay, what did you think about that, man? I, I liked them. See, people gotta remember. This is from your opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. Right. And you can't get mad at someone's haymaker because if it shakes the room, especially you were present. So you got the footage. Right. You can go back and look and see and reanalyze and analyze it. I liked it. A lot of rappers was, was mad. Like, why well, wasn't I in there? I mean, I was like, man, my King Ace, my first two minutes of King Ace, I had about three, four punch. I could have yeah. thought that too. But you know what? It's not about that. All right? People need to get out their body. People need to get out the emotional thing, and if someone else gets mentioned, I didn't even get mentioned. My brother Shadow the Serious made one or two. That was a victory for me, because that's my brother. Well, by the way, shout out to Shadow the Serious, who just lost his older brother. One love, that's my people oh, from yeah, way back. Yeah, Shadow right, the Serious, yeah, one of the realists I know. In my fact, man. he's the main reason I came back into battle rap. He told me King Kamaz dust these cats, and that's why I'm here. My but you, I like that, man. I can't say nothing bad about that my top man. 10. Okay, okay. Well, check this out, man. It's been your big homie, MC Ryan Ski, with my special guest, Kings Kamanzi. Make sure y'all be in the house in about two weeks. Two weeks, February 17th. Yeah. Heat Rock. You're going to see a lot of stuff go on stage. Again, I'm not taking away from no other performer. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Example, you good, but you Michael Red good. I'm Michael Jordan good. So make sure you bring your props. Bring the bambada. He's a child molester. Whatever you're going to say, you're not going to shake me up. You're not going to make me say, oh, I'm so mad. Off my square. My bars are too concentrated. And I'm not even going to waste time with bundling any nonsense you say, whether I go first or go second. My bars are set in stone. You can body an example and make sure that $500 ain't counterfeit either or I won't pull up on Long Island. Peace and love to you, brother. <laughs> Okay, man, before we go, man, is it anything you want to you want you want to end with or you got any questions, man? I want to say, you know what, all these, even even these rappers, right? And like I said, the funny thing is even speaking all this about example, me and example is actually cool. We don't have no beef, but it's battle rap. I don't have any friends. Um, heard it, right? All teams, Team Extendo, Hoodlum Gang, Pen Gang, Body Gang. All unite and do what's right and make some money. Battle each other to kingdom come, but let's make some money out of this. Because otherwise it's just hot air. Anything time invested that don't come out with some numbers behind it is a waste of my motherfucking time, nigga. My man, y'all heard it straight from the horse's mouth, man. I guess now, you know, we're going to pull up a little bit, man. Toast a little bit, man, to success. And, uh, hey, I guess we're going to lay back and chill. And I'm going to let y'all get back to your regular schedule programming. It's been, once again, your big homie MC Ryan Ski. No chill, no filter TV. No my chill, man, no ooh. filter. King Kamanzi, Kamanzi gang. No chill, no filter. You know what it is. Um, <laughs> y'all know how we feel about fillers around here, so keep them to yourself. For real. This is your big homie, man. No chill, no filter TV. And we have...